day three. I have a few tips for day three. I hope I'm not confusing you by calling it day three, but since this is the third time that you guys have worked on your artwork, that's why I'm calling it day three. I hope that makes sense. Tip number one, dip your brush often. Remember that brushes don't have a reservoir or a barrel of ink like markers or ink pens do. So you have to dip your brush more often to have enough paint on your brush to be able to make a line. So that means you need to dip your brush every couple of inches. Tip number two, lightly touch the surface of the canvas with your brush. You don't ever wanna smash your brush onto the canvas. That's gonna give you nice, thin, detailed lines. Tip number three, hold your brush perpendicular to the surface or straight up and down on the canvas. If you lean the brush to the side, you'll get a thicker line, but if you hold your brush perpendicular or straight up and down, that's gonna give you a nice, thin line. All right, here we are on day three and we're gonna start painting inside of our leopard today. So we're going to add some shadowing on our leopard's body. And of course the, the body of the leopard is gonna be all different colors. And so we're gonna stick with our darkest colors to give the shading on the face and the body. So I'm gonna start with blue, my dark blue. Oh, and I'm using my angled shader. This is the half inch angled shader, shader brush. So this is the second to the largest brush. And I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna put just a little bit of blue underneath the eye. I'm gonna pick up some light blue too, kind of mix in the light blue as I go. And then I'm gonna put a little bit sort of up behind the eye at an angle, sort of like this. And then I'm gonna come down the side of the nose with some of the blue. And then I'm gonna take the dark blue and I'm gonna go right across the top of this section of the nose. So we have that little line right here and I just sort of put some blue right on the top of that curve right there. I'm also gonna put some blue inside of this ear on the left, just like this. Kind of give it some shadow right there. And I'm gonna put some blue behind this ear. And if you run out, just pick up a little bit more. And I'm gonna also add black to these as well, because I wanna darken that up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit of dark or black along with the blue. And I also wanna use some blue back here in the back part of the body because again, he's kind of in shadow back there. So I'm gonna take what's on my brush still. I've not rinsed it out at all. So I still have a little bit of black in there and I'm gonna pick up some light blue in there too. And again, I'm just using sort of these short brush strokes and I'm not blending it completely. I'm just putting the colors on there. And I'm actually gonna go back to my dark blue. I was using turquoise, but you can use a combination of dark and turquoise. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit of pink. And the reason I'm gonna use pink is because I want some purple. And I didn't give you guys purple, which is fun. I did it on purpose, because we are gonna mix our purple by adding a little bit of pink on top of our blue, and that's gonna give us some purple in here. Actually picked up a little bit of white so I can lighten up my purple right there too. So this is a neat one to do because you can kind of play around with the colors and see how the colors blend and mix as you go. But again, you wanna avoid over blending this because you can make it one solid color and that's not really what we want. All right, so I'm going back to blue here a little bit. I have that section mostly painted blue. Maybe a little bit of blue up in here. A little bit right there. And maybe a little bit more blue out in here. Okay, so these are gonna be our dark shadowy areas. Then I'm gonna rinse my brush out because I'm done with the blue for right now. 
and the blue is still wet so I want to avoid those areas for a little while because I don't want to mix my colors too much with the other colors that I'm going to be using. If you do, it's fine. Just stop and rinse your brush out. It's not a big deal at all. So I've rinsed my brush out and now I'm going to use yellow and orange. So I'm going to pick up some yellow here and I'm going to do yellow on the top of the nose here and over the top of the eyes. And I'm also going to do yellow on the top of the head here. And you can see I got a little bit of green kind of mixed into my brush, which is okay. I don't mind that at all. And then I'm going to put a little yellow underneath the eye here. And a little yellow kind of right under the nose in this area. And yellow right behind this line this curved line and then I'm going to bring that yellow down and I'm not following this line I'm kind of staying behind that line I'm leaving a little bit of space there because we're going to actually put white in this area here so a little bit of yellow there a little bit of yellow in the cheek area and then I'm also going to do kind of splotches of yellow back here in the body. And I know this looks really strange right now, but as we work the other colors in, it will start to look better. And I'm also going to do yellow on the edges of the ears. The edges of the ears on this ear and then a little bit on the edge of this ear. Yellow on the head. Make sure I get it above the eyes. A little bit here, maybe. The yellow is our lightest color, so we're sort of using it like a highlighter. And we're also going to use white to highlight later on as well. So I'm going to start mixing some orange in with my yellow. I didn't rinse my brush. I'm just going to use the same brush. And I'm going to start putting a little bit of orange in where kind of around the yellow so I'll put some orange here right next to that eye I'm just kind of working this in between the places where I did yellow inside of this ear we're gonna do it orange inside of this ear be careful next to that blue I don't want to get too much there. And then here in the cheek, I'm going to sort of go around my yellow a little bit. I know this is splotchy looking, but that's the way it's supposed to look right now. Also, I'm going to put some splotches of orange in the back of the body. You get a little bit of mixing there and that's okay. I'm keeping my brush strokes kind of like the shape of the brush. Maybe even some down in here. Um, you want to do this part last because it, you're going to sort of get your brush pretty dirty with the blue. So kind of save that part till last to do. I'll put a little more in here. Maybe a little bit of orange right underneath the mouth. And a little bit of orange right here. Now I'm going to switch to red. So I'm sort of going from lightest to darkest. So I'm going to pick up some red and I'm going to start adding some red kind of in the areas where I've also got orange and yellow. So I've got a little bit of red inside the ear. 
And don't forget, if I'm going too fast, because everybody paints at different rates, and if I'm going too fast, pause it, and then get caught up, and then you can pick back up with me. I'm adding a little bit of red, maybe a little bit on top of the head there. A little bit of red, kind of above the eye. A little bit of red here. I'm actually going to mix that in with my dark a little bit there, that red, because I want it to kind of blend. So I'm just taking my brush and kind of blending that up so that it mixes with some of the darker blue and black that we had. I'm going back to my red, add some more red up here. And I've got, you know, my brush is kind of dirty and that's okay. Don't worry if you've got a little bit of black mixed in there. I'm going to mix some red splotches in with all of these. A little bit of red down in here. Some red back here. And you want some of the splotches to sort of group together too. You don't want um, all of them to be splotchy. And I'm going to put some red back in here with my blues as well because I don't want this blue to be kind of a blob on itself. I want this to be mixed in. You might get kind of a purpley color when you put that red on there. And some of the red, kind of let it sit on top too, so that you get red on top of that blue. So it'll blend it all in. We need some red in here too. I like how the black is making my red a little bit darker. Okay, and at this point I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to go back to yellow but this time I'm going to have a little bit of orange mixed in with it so I got a little bit of orange there not much I just picked up a little bit of orange and made kind of a very light orange color and I'm going to go back and kind of blend all these areas that I have left with this orange color mostly yellow though a little bit here on the other side of the nose, a little bit down the nose. And it's okay if you have a few white spaces left because we're actually going to add white to a lot of these areas anyway. So I'm just kind of filling back in and if you accidentally mix a little bit of the orange in with this color that's okay too. Fill that in a little bit down there. Kind of fill in this spot right here. And if your colors get a little bit muddy, that's all right. Where that color's mixing in together. Because we really don't want these colors to, to be um, separate anyway. We don't want it to look like all separate colors. The colors kind of model and sort of blend together. I'll pick up some plain yellow. His head looked a little splotchy there. Fill in that area. All right, and I think, I think that's it. If you want to add some pink, 
You can even add some pink in there. I can add some pink color. And I didn't rinse my brush either when I did this, when I started with pink. I'm just kind of mixing some pink in there. And if you want it to be a little bit lighter pink, you can add a little bit of white with your pink too. I'll kind of give you a little bit lighter pink. It might help it show up a little more. Just don't want to completely cover everything you've done. So just be careful adding the pink, but you just kind of put a few splotches here and there. Don't completely repaint what you've done. along there. And anywhere that you think you need to add any more colors, you can certainly do that if you feel like you need to add some more. And I think that pretty much wraps it up for day three. Make sure I have the bottom here done. You can also paint the edges of your canvas. I just sort of stopped at the edges of mine just because I'm not working on an easel today. I'm working flat on my desk and so I haven't painted the edges. But normally when we do Arts Camp, we paint the edges of the canvas where it wraps around the frame. And you're certainly welcome to do that. Uh, you can certainly change up the colors if you want to. Lillian did not like my example. So she chose to do her colors a little bit different. She's using mostly blues and greens for this part and then Lydia just made hers completely rainbow from start to finish <laughs> so feel free to change this up as you want you don't have to do it exactly like mine so those are just a couple different ways you can paint the leopard you don't like the way that I demonstrated.